everybody. It is New Year's Eve and I know that many are making New Year's resolutions. So um, many times that is, hey, I want to lose weight in the next year or I want to lose 50 pounds or whatever that is. So if weight loss is on your New Year's resolution list, go ahead and let me know below and do go ahead and check out this video um, as I give you some tips for weight loss. So um, I have been overweight my entire life and I still am on a journey to lose probably about 50 pounds more. Um, but I have total a total loss of 146 pounds. Um, but since I've been plant-based, I have lost 76 pounds in the last 15 months. So I'm going to give you some tips and tricks for weight loss. And I have made some notes here, so um, I'll keep on track. So the first tip is just to start and once you start keep going so um, if you you can start right now tonight uh, by cleaning out your cupboard or your pantry your refrigerator clean it out get all that unprocessed stuff or get all that processed stuff out of there and either donate it or throw it away if it's going bad or whatever just get it out of your house because if it's in your house you are going to eat it if it is not there then you're not going to be able to put it in your mouth and then the second tip would be um, one bite at a time. So if you do fall off track, just get back on track with the very next bite. Don't wait until the next meal. Don't wait until tomorrow. Uh, many times in the past I have said, oh, you know, I've already messed up. So why don't I keep messing up the rest of the day and have stuff I shouldn't have. Um, but just get back on track with the very next bite that you take. The third thing would be is that weight loss actually happens in the kitchen and not in the gym. Definitely exercising can help you lose uh, weight, but not it's not the major cause of weight loss that people think that it is. It is definitely great for strengthening and your mental health and just your overall clarity and all of that, but it is not where weight loss happens. Weight loss happens in the kitchen with the food that you eat and the food that you make. So, um, it all goes back to calories in and calories out. So our body takes so many calories per day just to function, just to breathe and beat our heart and all of that. Um, so it takes so many calories per day. So you actually have a calorie count that your target is. So they tell you to um, take what you weigh and multiply that. Um, so like if you're 150 pounds you would multiply that by 10 and you would need about 1500 calories per day and uh, to make your your body function properly so the way that we work with the calories in calories out is we eat the most calorie dilute food that we can and we can have all of that that we want so those things are vegetables uh, potatoes rice um, any kind of grain, uh, quinoa, which is actually a seed, millet, um, any of those kinds of things that we can eat. And um, so if we eat a lower calorie density food, we can eat more of it and that will um, contribute to our weight loss. So the fourth tip is just to become a student and learn all that you can learn. So even now I've been doing this for 15 months, I still constantly watch videos, YouTube videos, um, follow people on social media, Facebook, Facebook, and those kinds of things um, that eat the way I do and teach the um, plant-based lifestyle that I follow and um, just be coachable and be teachable. Those are, that's a big tip for me. And the last thing actually comes from somebody that I follow on Facebook. His name is Tim Kaufman. He has a page, um, fatmanrants.com on Facebook. You can find him there. And he said something great that just kind of stuck with me, and that is compare yourself to you. So other people are on their own journey, and you are on your journey. Um, they're not on your journey. Other people are on their own. So think about where you were one day ago, one month ago, or even one year ago, and compare yourself and see if you're any better now than you were yesterday or one month ago or one year ago. And then um, if you look one way, there's always going to be somebody that is better than you or better off than you that you think. And if you look the other way, there's always going to be someone who is looking up to you and aspiring to be you and they would just die to be you. 
So um, it's best just to compare yourself to yourself alone and not anyone else around you. So those are my five tips for weight loss. If weight loss is on your New Year's resolution list for 2020, um, I'm going to be continuing my journey. So um, I would like for you all to come along with me and, and uh, I invite you to eat plants with me while I do that to help me on this weight loss journey. And let me know if you have any tips that you have found for weight loss. And I hope that you all will have a great New Year's Eve tonight and a great New Year's Day tomorrow. And I'll see you all soon. Thanks. Bye.